Hello and welcome to another EK how-to video. My name is Matiz and I will be showing you how to use the AIO LGA1700 upgrade kit with our EK AIOs so you can use them on the newest LGA1700 motherboards. The upgrade kit is suitable for all the 12th generation Alder Lake processors, making the EK AIO compatible with the LGA1700 socket. We will also include all the helpful tips and tricks to help you out. Video is timestamped, so you can skip right away to the part that interests you the most. Also, do not forget to contact our renowned customer support anytime you need it or have a question. Before we proceed, we will need the following items. The LGA1700 motherboard with an older Lake CPU, an EK AIO and an AIO LGA1700 upgrade kit. The kit is available in our web shop through the link below. We'll also need some tools to clean up the thermal grease. We'll need paper towels, some cleaning alcohol and of course Q-tips. Before we start, please check the box content, bag content. Before we start, please check the bag content of the AIO LJ1700 upgrade kit. Here we can see what's enclosed in the kit. Compare it to the manual you can find online. You can access the manual via the QR code found on the bag. We'll be using these screws instead of the ones enclosed in the AIO box. Now on to the AIO preparation. We'll need something to clean the pre-applied thermal paste off the AIO's cold plate as the Older Lake CPU's IHS is a bit larger than the pre-applied thermal grease patch. You can remove the thermal grease using a paper cloth. There. Before we apply the new thermal grease, we should mention this. As we can see here, the IHS on the Older Lake CPU it is not squared anymore and a bit larger than the previous generations. So we'll need to apply thermal grease according to the installation manual. EK recommends blob or a cross line method on the CPU IHS for the best performance. We will go with the cross method in this video. Before we apply the new paste, make sure to remove all the old paste from your CPU's IHS using the Q-tips and some cleaning alcohol. Now our CPU is brand new, so we have everything prepared and we can proceed with the EK AIO installation on the LGA1700 motherboard. Now let's install the backplate and the rubber gasket for the LGA1700 socket to the back of your motherboard. Align the holes on the motherboard with the holes on the backplate. Make sure that these four holes are aligned with the screws underneath. Now that these are aligned, flip the board around while holding the backplate in place with your hand. Now we need to install four mounting screws to the backplate. It is mandatory to put plastic washer underneath each of the thumb screws. Now that we've completed the first two steps, it's time to apply the thermal compound. As mentioned before, we're gonna be applying it in a cross pattern, as seen here. Before we finally install the AIO onto the motherboard, we also need to install the mounting bracket for the Intel CPUs. It can be found inside the AIO box. Let's continue the installation. Make sure you use the new mounting nut kit and the springs from the upgrade kit. Now let's attach the AIO to the motherboard. Let's put on all four springs. You can tighten the thumb nuts using the Phillips head screwdriver. Tighten them in a cross pattern to apply even pressure across the whole IHS. And we are done. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. For more content like this, make sure you comment, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you need any help or have questions, reach out to our customer support. They're the best in the industry for a reason. Stay cool.